is a troubled place. We must find time to save the human race. Love, unity, and empathy has no place among the human race. In this transition. When we live in love and harmony and show respect with unity, only love can set us free to fight injustice wherever it be. Just said the hungry must be fed, but men can't live by only bread. We have the future in our hands. Let's take the trot to the promised land. Jamaica, Jamaica, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, America, America, calling, 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 I am Capom, calling, 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 I am Capom, calling, 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 I am Capom, calling, 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 Capom. From the middle of the graveyard yeah, yeah. to the center of the sea, our oh, ancestors, are you and me, we are the great ones. From the beginning of time, we have the heart, the soul, the body, and the mind. Calling, 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 United we stand, divided we fall. All for one and one for all. Some will never know themselves until them back against the wall. Jamaica, Haiti, Nyanka Ponga call. Calling, 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 Nyanka Pong. 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 Nyanka Pong. United we stand, divided we fall, all for one, and one for all. Some will never know themselves until they're back against Yes, yes, yes. Some will never know themselves until their back is against the wall. I see Brother Danny here, and his back is not against the wall. Also, here yeah, we have Professor Strength with us and of course brother nigel just enter into the room uh before i go yes. any further, grand rising grand rising grand rising professor i see you sent some mm -hmm. things to me do you need me to display them in the classroom tonight or those was just a bit of material for me to go over Professor, are, are you there? I think Professor is there. All right. While we wait on brothers, that's... yeah, Professor. Yeah. Um. Let me check, and then I'll I'll get right back to you. All right. No problem. No problem. All right. Then while we wait on brothers and sisters to come in, well, go on, brother Nigel. Everything good? Yeah, man. Grand rising, man. Everything blessed. Up to the time. Up to the time. Yeah. As I was saying, you know, welcome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the teachings, Father, yeah. Things set up. Everybody um appearing themselves. You were explaining something to me about um getting some uh information about the DOT. As I as I said, we have to work in harmony. I came home this evening. And um, it's official, gentlemen. It's official. I, I will reveal it in a bit. 
but I think when these crown agents pull me over with my diplomatic credentials, they will, I don't know if they're going to treat me like the president or like a peasant, but I know that for one, when they, they, they see these things here, um, let me, cameraman, please open the camera. We open the camera there. So our brothers and sisters, oh, 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 oh. let me uh, get rid of this background right here, I tell you. Grand Rising, brother Akeem, Grand, Grand Rising. Get back to the Sun rising, everybody running a little late, just coming yeah. from the test. Oh, oh, came home from the test. Yes, this is the um diplomatic credential. Is it the big diplomat on it? Yes, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, we're not able to really get a hold of it. I think they're going oh, to see so you, get, you get your plates already. I got two. No registration or insurance required with the DOT. Yet to test the water. Crystal. Hold on. So, hold on. What did you actually do to get the plates? Because I know I got my number and everything. Yeah, well, um, through the office, you didn't um, interact through the office properly. And um, that yeah. is why. Yeah, you don't have the diplomatic thing here. Right. Smack them on my car. I'll put it well, on. I I haven't, yeah. I haven't gotten a plate done yet. I have the DOT number and everything. Does. I'll, I'll I instruct you. Get in contact with the secretary. She will have all those templates ready and we order them for you. And um, they're available, as I was saying, Grand Rising Sister Crystal. Ow. So this is, this is it's two I'm going to have to get now because no, I'm going to have to. I'm going to switch the one that's on my present car and I'm going to yeah. have another place for the new vehicle. I know yeah. we need a new, everybody have to get a new poop in there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I want to go in the year. So, the next plate after that. Yeah, going after the eight, I think I may go into one of these manufacturers to get my, my brand new transportation because. I want something that is fully leather with no poop smell. No poop smell. Yeah. Yeah, we're no, going straight. Mm, it is possible. They told us that a lot of lot of things wasn't possible, but as we chisel and chisel and chisel, we find out. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, tonight we have Professor Strength here, and um, he has a presentation. Remember, he's the spiritual um, guru when it comes on to spirituality. He has a good class lineup. I was going to also interject. I am going to interject as what the topics say about the titles and ownership and trust and so forth. I'll be playing something, and I think I, I should play it um, after the presentation of Professor Strength, he just sent me um, something. I don't know. We have a few other brothers and sisters going. Come on into the workshop. But Professor, are you are you um are you are you ready to take over? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just get here. Hold on. Greetings, greetings. Without any further ado, Professor Strength, the floor is yours. Thank you, thank you. Greetings, Professor. Greetings, everybody. Grand Rising, Grand Rising, Professor. Grand Rising. Grand Rising. And Grand Rise, we don't want to see any other rising. But uh, let's see. Who has ever had an opportunity to be in a situation where yeah. everything is just going your way? Everything seems effortless. Anyone? Where where the challenge where everything is lined up and um, you're not facing any challenge that you cannot overcome. I've I've, I've had those days. Okay, so it's like it's like sometimes I've had it where I was playing basketball or playing a sport and. 
it was, I didn't even have to think. Every shot went in, every move was effortless. I wasn't tired. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's a state of mind where we call it a flow state. And it's a heightened level of consciousness where everything, it just seems effortless to you. Has anybody ever experienced that other than? Yeah, when I was younger, come to think about it, but not now. I haven't experienced that no time lately, but when I was younger, a lot of stuff seemed like effortless to me and everybody used to say, it seemed like I, I know everything. Right? Um, you ever heard of, uh, oh, you're so lucky you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth kind of thing? Mm -hmm. You've heard that. Well, that there, they've actually come up with a terminology. They call it the flow state. It's where things become effortless. And I wanted to show a video just to start it off and then we can have a discussion about it after, if that's okay. Go ahead, can Professor. You, can you play the video? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Uh, let's get this up to par. Hold on. Okay. are about to hear may sound surprising. If you are watching this video, it might not be a coincidence. The information you are about to hear may sound surprising, but those who manage to understand the message will benefit immensely. This video could be a key to unlocking new dimensions of understanding in your life. Watch it once to awaken, watch it twice to activate. Have you ever had one of those days where everything just clicked, where you were completely focused and engaged in what you were doing? feeling a sense of energized fulfillment. That state of peak performance is known as the flow state, a highly coveted state of consciousness where we operate at our highest levels. Imagine being able to enter that flow state at will, channeling it to achieve your biggest goals rapidly and consistently. That's the power this video will unlock for you. We'll dive deep into mastering the flow state to propel you towards exceptional success across all areas of your life. The flow state is often described as being in the zone, totally immersed in an activity with intense focus while experiencing a distorted sense of time. You lose awareness of the outside world as you become one with the task at hand. Actions feel effortless and automatic as you operate at peak productivity and creativity. Sounds incredible, right? The good news is, Anyone can learn to enter this optimal state of performance. The key is understanding the core principles and cultivating lifestyle habits that enable the flow state. Principle one, develop a practice of presence. At its essence, the flow state arises from complete presence, being fully engaged with the here and now rather than consumed by thoughts about the past or future. Practicing mindfulness meditation is a powerful tool to train your ability to be present. Simply observe your breath and physical sensations for 10 to 20 minutes daily. When your mind inevitably wanders, gently guide your attention back. Over time, this strengthens your capacity to sustain. If you don't want to open your third eye, then don't watch this video. This method isn't for everyone. If experiencing what it's like to have an open eye sounds interesting, then you are really going to like this. This was to see 30 so powerful at activating the pineal third eye that a few elite individuals kept it under wraps for centuries. But now the focused engagement, preparing your mind for flow. Principle two, cultivate challenge, skill balance. The flow state emerges when you face a specific degree of challenge matched by an equal level of skill. Too much challenge without the skills leads to anxiety. Too little challenge with excess skills results in boredom and lack of engagement. Identify activities that lie in your specific Goldilocks zone of difficulty, challenging enough to remain fully absorbed 
but not so difficult that you become overwhelmed. Persistently operating in this sweet spot of challenge, skill balance creates the optimal conditions for flow. Principle three, craft, purpose, and meaning. We're much more likely to enter flow when we care deeply about what we're doing and perceive it as meaningful. Create intentions and personal philosophies that imbue your endeavors with sincere purpose. This amplifies motivation, passion, and commitment, essential flow triggers. For example, if your work centers around helping others improve their lives, connect with that deeper purpose as you approach tasks. An overarching sense of importance for the work itself is a flow catalyst. Principle four, eliminate distractions and discipline focus. In our constantly connected world, we're persistently bombarded with potential interruptions that splinter our attention. Mastering flow demands meticulous control over your focal environment, whether it's silencing notifications, creating device-free zones, or noise-canceling headphones. Become religious about removing any potential distractions before important work periods. With a distraction-free space, you can fully immerse in the undertaking and sustainability sustain concentration. Principle five, embrace the challenges. While avoiding anxiety is wise, facing difficult obstacles with a spirit of eager anticipation stokes flow. Too much ease breeds complacency and disengagement. Strategic cycles of raising the difficulty level keep you operating optimally at the bounds of your skills. Continually nudge outside your comfort zone striving to improve your capabilities while attacking new, more intricate challenges. This sensitivity to complexity nurtures motivation, engagement, and capability expansion, all of which fuel flow. With these five principles as your foundation, let's explore specific strategies and habits for more rapidly attaining the coveted flow state. Strategy one, establish strict work periods. Designate specific blocks of 60 to 90 minutes solely devoted to deep focused work on high priority projects. During these periods, you ruthlessly eliminate all potential distractions and interruptions, no phone and notifications, emails, or multitasking of any kind. Use website blockers and disable notifications to construct a virtual focus vault free from intrusions. Your only responsibility during this window is to attack the task at hand with full undivided attention until you reach a natural stopping point. This ritual trains your mind for unbroken concentration. Strategy two, define process goals, not outcome goals. A key flow principle is having clearly defined objectives for each work session. However, focusing only on outcome-based goals like revenue targets or project completion dates can induce anxiety that disrupts flow. Define process goals instead. For example, your goal for the next 90 minutes could simply be to write 1,000 words on the new book chapter with full focus and engagement. This type of process-oriented intention keeps you immersed in the present moment activity rather than fixating on future-based outcomes and deadlines. Strategy three, use music and ambient sound to your advantage. What you expose your auditory senses to can be a powerful flow trigger. Create customized playlists filled with music that energizes you, evokes the intended emotional state, and blocks out external noise pollution. Additionally, consider ambient background tracks like rainfall, campfires, or nature soundscapes to occupy the frequency band where verbal thoughts and mental chatter typically reside. This creates an audio environment optimized for immersion and flow. Strategy four, try dopamine delays and desire setting. The neurotransmitter dopamine plays a key role in motivation, reward, and our ability to experience flow. You can strategically bake higher dopamine levels into your routine through desire setting and dopamine delays. First, spend five to 10 minutes vividly imagining and emotionally experiencing the accomplishments, benefits, and positive emotions you'll derive from successfully engaging in deep work. This activates strong desire and anticipation. Then, instead of instantly indulging in the task, force yourself to delay gratification for 10 to 20 minutes through light exercise, meditation, or light chores. This calculated delay elevates dopamine levels and amplifies focus and drive when you finally commit to the project. Strategy five, pursue passion projects outside of work. While focusing intensely on work is vital, 
explicitly carving out time for passion projects you genuinely enjoy can be a profound flow trigger. With no expectations or pressures attached, you're free to fully immerse in an activity motivated purely by intrinsic joy and curiosity. Whether it's a creative hobby like art or music, or pursuing a new subject area you find fascinating like history or particle physics, nurturing these autotelic endeavors provides essential flow practice. Recordings just got better. Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. I'm so excited to announce that local recordings are now available on StreamYard. Have you ever done a recording where your guests just had terrible internet issues? Can you do a skip? They were blurry. They skip ad. Are we charging you for professional responsibility? Implement even a few of these strategies consistently, and you'll quickly begin noticing more frequent occurrences of flow during work hours, hobbies, and other meaningful pursuits. The experience of flow, that harmonious state of engagement, holds the key to accelerated success across all domains of life. When you operate in this peak zone of performance more often, tasks become exponentially easier to tackle as your output, creativity, productivity, and fulfillment flourish. Yet these benefits are only the beginning. Once you begin riding the flow more regularly, your quality of life will dramatically improve. You'll experience more joy, aliveness, confidence, and self-esteem as uncertainty, anxiety, and self-doubt take a back seat. Life feels more purposeful and meaningful as you marinate in the present moment. Best of all, regularly experiencing flow produces a feedback loop where the state becomes radically easier to access. What begins as an effortful process metamorphosizes into your default operating mode with flow as your most natural state of being. Make no mistake, flow mastery takes dedicated effort. You can't simply wish your way into this heightened state of performance. It requires rigorous adherence to strategies and cultivating the habits and principles we outlined. Yet the immense rewards for your success, fulfillment, productivity, and overall quality of life make pursuing flow, competence, an incredibly worthy endeavor. Treat this invaluable skill as one of the most vital priorities in your life. If you can transform your existence into a continual flow state, actively generating the emotions and skills you currently strive to achieve, nothing is truly beyond your grasp. Godspeed on your journey and enjoy the ride of flow mastery. If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have an opinion on what they have saw? Repeat. Can I have an opinion on what they have I was just wondering if I can get an opinion on what they just saw. What do they think? What do you think of the flow state? I'm not hearing you, Professor, but your mic is on. Yeah, I heard him. He's saying we want we want somebody to basically explain what we think of I the I think flow he's state. getting yourself in a frequency, um, your mind and everything the frequency that you can process things easier and with that it um it just slows anyone else I think yeah, it's I, almost I, getting I, I some close to a meditative state. What was that? I could I couldn't even I was saying, I think it's almost getting yourself close to a meditative state. But it's um, it's it's more like um, conscious meditation. So, have you ever been working or doing a job or anything like that, and you in the time to focus in the moment and see if you're standing properly, if you're sitting properly, if you're breathing properly? Are you breathing deep enough? Because everything they're actually talking about deals with your spirit. The consciousness of your spirit, the consciousness of, of, of you 
in the moment at that time. Because when you're conscious at that time in the moment, you tend to focus more on what you are doing. You get to focus more on you because in you right now, you're sitting, we're all, you know, enjoying this, this podcast and we're all communicating together. Are you sitting, are you sitting properly? Are you breathing deep enough? Is your mind clear? Are you focused? Those little things in getting in tuned with yourself throughout the day is very important because we tend to forget about ourselves. We, can, we tend to forget about our spirit. Our spirit is our breath. We forget to, to breathe sometimes. And that's where you hear anxiety, that word, anxiety. Well, anxiety is your Okay. Anxiety is your brain stifling from not breathing enough, giving it enough oxygen, not focused on your step, your purpose, your goal. In one of the classes, I got everybody to sit up and just take a deep breath. I want everybody to take a deep breath right now. Ten deep breaths. In and out, but deep. Feel it in your diaphragm. The rib cage, the rib cage basically is over the heart and over the lungs. And it being over the heart and lungs, it has to be um, open in order for both of them to operate efficiently underneath that rib cage. The deeper you breathe that is down into the diaphragm, the deeper you breathe, the more oxygen you can absorb. The more oxygen you can absorb, the more tasks your cells can do. Because all your cells do, all your cells are looking for when it comes to burning energy is oxygen, sugar, and fat, which is calories. So in taking, in taking a time throughout the day, even if it's 20 minutes a day to deal with yourself and focus on yourself, focus on your breathing, your, your posture, focus on your thoughts. If the thoughts that keep running over and over in your head, that basically is a, a disruptive thought or a thought that's basically taking you away from your goal or your task, then you can also do another technique, which is next thought, please. Start controlling your thoughts. The more focused you are, like a laser beam, increases your spirit. The notes, the notes that I was taking, the, the taking 90, 90 minutes throughout the day to actually focus on yourself. Okay. Have a goal, define the purpose, define the purpose of your goal instead of the outcome of your goal. Music. Having sounds, having a, uh, like a waterfall or a rainfall in the background. It's, it's, it does sound like meditation, but it's conscious meditation because you're awake. In the meditation where your eyes are closed, you, you, you can tend to drift off in your thoughts. But when you're focused on self or focus on your posture or focused on your task or focus on your goal, you could take a couple deep breaths. How many breaths are you taking? Dopamine blocker. Every single app that is designed on social media is intended for as a drug. 
it allows you to release immense amount of dopamine. That's why you could see somebody, they'll take their phone and then they'll go over and look at their phone again. And then, you know, they'll spend a few minutes here and a few minutes there. After a while, a few minutes adds up. So taking yourself off of social media to focus on yourself, to do calisthenics, to basically pick up art, uh, spending time with the, the, the little ones, right? Staying in the moment. The flow state is actually in the moment. It's not tomorrow, it's not the next day, it's actually in the moment. Delay gratification. So reward. The lack of reward is the reward. Do you see what I'm saying? So in blocking those dopamine and blocking the, the, the TV or, or an outside source giving yourself dopamine, you can actually focus on the inside source where you are controlling the tap of dopamine. Do something other than the goal at hand. Say you have a goal to do, you have, you have something to accomplish. There should be something outside of that where you're giving yourself, uh, like you're doing, you have a, another goal where it's like, okay, I'm going to, um, see if I can do a hundred squats or, um, I'm going to see if I can walk, you know, uh, down, down the street for after a meal, um, with perfect posture. I'm going to do some breathing exercises where I focus strictly on the intake of the breath and the exhale. In doing that more often, right, you're focusing on you. Like I said, out of billions and billions of sperm, you're the only one that made it. So you are king, ruler, creator of that temple which you are in 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and this one is strategy. Knowing your strategy, there's a, a famous samurai. His name's Moyomoto Musashi. He spoke all about strategy. Strategic movements. Sometimes certain people are playing chess when other people are playing checkers. You have to define what game you are playing. Are you going to be strategic in your movements? Or are you going to be just floating, going with the floating around? Yeah, I should say going with the flow, but that's the flow state we're trying to get into. It's a it's it's kind of like the chi that everybody talks about, where they say, be like water. Bruce Lee said, be like water. So if you really think about what he was saying, when water goes into a cup, it becomes the cup. When water goes into a pot, it becomes the pot. Well, water is inside me, 75%. I am water. You can flow and you can crash. When you start flowing, everything becomes effortless because now you're moving with your equilibrium. Everything around us is in the, in, in a, in, in the maritime state, but also you have to understand you are of the maritime. You are water. You are the serpentine. They say it's the serpent or the serpent that is the kundalini energy that goes up the spine. Well, there's no snake inside of me, so there's only water. And when you look at a river, a river also goes back and forth and serpentines up. 
water is H2O. It is oxygen. Well, I can focus on my breathing. And it's hydrogen. I can actually increase my energy production. Look at the sun. The sun is pure hydrogen. Right? So you internally focusing in the moment periodically when you can remember because it's it's really hard when you think about it i i fixed my posture uh i'm six six right six foot six and i at a young age i was always walking around with you know like a like a like a hunch looking down and i was always looking down right and after a while you start having back problems and you start having hip problems and knee problems and i started dealing with uh uh what do you call it a fitness trainer and learning fitness basically taught me how to deal with posture right and knowing your posture is very very important every single bone in your body is not connected it is separated by cartilage. So we have over 300 bones in our body that's not connected. So we're like marionettes, puppets, walking around, flowing, right, in an electromagnetic field, carrying all of this with us. After a while, the more a baby uh, focuses on lifting its legs it can strengthen its back it focuses on lifting its arms it can strengthen its uh, uh, lifting a bottle it focuses on lifting uh its its top is the upper hemisphere right then it starts moving its head after a while you you notice the baby is walking around on its tippy toes running and grabbing everything why because it has now that energy field that it it focused on itself in order to stand, in order to crawl, in order to move, in order to touch. And we all went through it. But the outside system has an ability to be like a shining light. Hey, look over here, look over here. Take away that attention. We can see that on TV. We can see that on uh, social media. Hey, look over here, look over here. And we forget about the moment that we're in, in us. So take time once in a while to, to sit and focus on what are we doing inside this shell? We fought so hard to get it, right? right. What is its capability? How can we increase its spirit, its spirituality consciously? How can we focus on our breathing consciously? How can we focus on posture consciously? How can we, if we have something to fix, we can stretch it out because remember what I said, each bone is not connected. So therefore we have to be more flexible than strong. We know we're strong mind minded. We know we're strong in body, but after a while, strength can condense and contract, and there's lack of flexibility. Now I can't touch my toes. I can't stretch to the side. Oh, my neck hurts. My back hurts. My hip hurts. My knee hurts. Be like water. Be more fluid. Find that flow. The more effortless we start focusing on us, we can actually start being more effortlessly in reality. Things start becoming more effortless. Why? Because now you can bring, you, you have an electromagnetic charge and it's on, right? When you're awake, you're on. When you go to sleep, you're off, but you're actually not off because your mind is still working. The more you focus on the task at hand in the moment, the more effortless it is. Then you're not thinking, oh man, I have to, I have to finish this. Oh man, I have to do this, I have to do that. 
sometimes you just have to go with the flow and be in the moment, at the moment. So treat the present like a present in the present always, because you are the present. You are the prize. You see? I never forget that. You are the prize. You won it. You're here in the third dimension. We might be dealing with certain situations at hand, but it's it's knowing that it's just a situation that we didn't know about. It's always been there, right? And look uh, at, um, you can see uh, Raskarites. He has his, um, his travel papers now. That was focus, determination. Now he's a diplomat. And every single person is like, oh man, I can't believe that, that we can't, the, the driver's license is this and this and that. Well, the thing about it is we did not focus. We did not read. We just followed everybody else. And on, on you can see anywhere on social media, it doesn't say nothing, nowhere it says leader. Every single person in this room is a leader leading the way. We're all just learning as we go. But things can be accomplished. Things will be effortless. And that's all for today. Any questions? No, but what I realize is that mean we need to start focus more on our on our on our on our breath breathing to accomplish that. The the reading the reading is a big the reading is a big deal. Like it was very it was very hard for me as a youth to to even learn how to read. Reason being is that I I knew patois, right? And then I came you learn in English, but then they're saying it's the same thing, but it's a totally two different language. And they don't want to recognize it as a language, but it is very hard for the younger generation to understand that, hey, listen, we speak a certain way and that's our dialect, but they don't want to recognize that. That's our energy. That's our focus. You know what I mean? So when it comes down to reading just something normal, that's like, in not not really in the way you're speaking. It's like a Chinese child reading English. He speaks something totally different, but it's hard for him to understand that the words that are coming out of the page into his head has to be deciphered and then come back out. Right? In the reading that we do, it's boring as hell. I'm sorry, but it's boring and they make it boring. But the boring part of or the great part about it is after you read it, then you can overstand and realize, hold on for a second. All I had to do was just this, this and this. Oh, okay, okay. And then it becomes effortless. You have to love, you have to love freedom, man, because honestly, we're all slaves. I'm sorry, but that's how it is. These people were slave masters. They created a slave environment so that they continue, they could continue slavery and human trafficking. You have the ability of freedom. Right? It's just reading it just read those who know that they want to they want to live a life where it's like, yo, hey, I don't feel like looking around my back every single time I drive down the street, or I don't feel like every time I see like uh, uh, red and blue lights off in the distance, my heart, you, you ever had your heart just start pumping for no reason? You didn't do nothing wrong. 
you know you ain't speeding you know you ain't doing anything it's just just off in the distance even if he's dealing with somebody else we've been trained like therapy and known as a child that red means hot blue means cold so therefore when you see those things flashing in your eye your action your your body is actually heating and cooling heating and cooling heating and cooling heating and cooling and you don't even realize it when you start reading you realize that this is a foreign agent they are the foreign agents they are guests belligerent guests that could be dealt with in a certain way where, oh, <laughs> um, I don't want to deal with that guy because that guy is going to charge me every single time I talk to him. He's going to charge me every single time that I, I run his plates or come deal with him or do this or do that. Why? Because you took yourself out of that jurisdiction and put yourself in a different jurisdiction. Flow state, be effortless, be where you're supposed to be. Right? Going with the flow, I guess, is knowing that this is not how it's supposed to be, and you can change it. You have the ability to change it. It takes time, it takes focus, it takes um a little bit of reading but when you realize what is necessary to be read then you can like movement is different you feel different you don't have to worry about this this and this Anything else? Anyone? Questions? No? Well, I'll pass it off to Raskarites and then he can show the, what do you call it? The videos that he wanted to show, but um understanding flow state starts with you it starts with you being conscious in the moment taking time for yourself and in a 24 hour period you can at least take an hour an hour just one just hour, one hour. To, to to read. Read. one hour to to start a hobby you're worth it so question in essence the flow state is checking out and checking in with yourself what's going on slowing down everything and being present with yourself your body your breath your essence mm -hmm. and um but yeah as a form of meditation okay well the thing is you ever seen they always they always relate meditation to um sitting down having a quiet room uh what do you call it you know being away from everybody keeping it silent and being in your mind i'm but talking like you're actually at work you know you have to go to work but even while you're at work, you're in your head. Well, I think they have different forms, like because like Qigong and yoga, you have certain movements that you do to get into vibrations, just as you talk about the, um, the frequency, listening to certain natural things to, to bring a frequency 
therapy. I think even aromatherapy, there's senses, getting in tune, calming down. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Precisely. All right. Um, as usual, Professor Strength always go deep into the subject matter. I was taken away from it like it's a outward experience where it, it, you can train your mind to to a certain level where physically your mind and your body is at one. So I'll be sitting here, but I'm consciously looking at me sitting here. But it's from a, not from a physical point of view to a spiritual point. So that's when the spirit comes out of the physical you and can access seeing you as a physical. Like when you go to sleep, a lot of people, they, they close their eyes, yes, but um, they can tell you exactly what you're doing in the room can, without, without opening their eyes. All right? All right, then. Um, that's what the spiritual realms. I want to touch base with Danny. Danny, um, how are you going along with your 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 paper that you get to look about from last week? Yes. Um, so many, so many, so many questions. I'm, I'm going to need some help with. And also, go ahead. These these um. The links, I, I, I've looked through those links, even the, the box with the affidavits and that. Yes. Yeah, the affidavits, I can, I can change up to make my own. Yes. However, the, um, the EIN and the dot numbers. Lana, she's, she's aware. Sister Lana, as I said, I put you in the group with Sister Lana, and I think she has put in some information. Have you checked the UK group? Yeah, I looked at the UK. Yeah, I looked at the UK group so far. I think there's only a couple of posts in there. Yeah, well, um, those posts are based on the, um, the UK side because that's how she did. But I, I thought you'd look it over and then reach out to me. Or do you want me to reach out to you? I don't know your which your work schedule. I know you're on the work every day, most of the time, should I say? And um, your timing. Because remember that I'm six hour. Um, ahead of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, what, what I can do, what I can, do, I can reach out to you in the in, in the, the daytime. Yes, in the afternoon, afternoon, late afternoon. Yes, and I think that's good because that's when um, Sister Lana. And officially, we can um, chat on your side of the pond at that time because it will be a sun art. Yeah, because there's so many questions in that um, exam sheet that I can answer, yeah. but there are obviously so many of you really need to um, do a bit more research and stuff like that. All right. Some help I look forward. I look forward to. Give me a call tomorrow about two two thirty. That should be about two in my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the sun out over you, I, I am up seven thirty in the morning, but in the morning is not any time after ten. The office is up and ready to go. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, brother Taylor, I send over the necessary to you, so you're in good standing. Just you, fam, um, sort out. That um, paperwork for me, so I get it back. Schoolwork. Um, as far as the, I'm I'm hoping that we can open the file say tomorrow, and I will do a DOT on the line. So I know that um, Crystal, you don't do your EIN and DIT yet. Tomorrow, hopefully we can do it online. I'll do it with you online. The website, or we we'll go through it and. We get it. I just got my license plate that I just show y'all. So that's uh, a next level. But you have to get um, these things so we can move forward. I have a tip because tonight we wanted to touch about 
common law. Also, we wanted to touch about titles and we wanted to touch about ownership. Now, today I was dealing with a case and this was over on the French side, St. Martin, Martin, you know, Guadeloupe. Now, what the corporation has done as far as titles and um, ownership of our estate, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's into different jurisdiction as far as wording goes. Now, when, when you come onto the French, if you think that, can you imagine being stranded on a French speaking island? You have good to give thanks for translating um, apps out there that we have, thank God. But if you are a out of touch technological person, man or woman, who get lost in that neck of the woods, you're going to panic. But thank God for technology, we are communicating. So I have a high chief that is stranded because he refused to sign the documents to make the corporation can charge his estate. Now, what we've been doing with our documents is to liberate brothers and sisters all over planet Earth. And I love a challenge. Don't get me wrong. I love a challenge because each time you challenge me, I learn. I learn, you know, and uh, even if sometimes the beating is hot, I'm going to learn, and I'm learning from this procedure because they have um, kidnapped him two times in a row, and they're asking for documents away from his native documents. They're saying, yeah, yeah, we, we see you with your native documents, but we don't want it because most of us as sovereign brothers and sisters, we don't know to put our language together. We are mixing up our language, and I'm tired to come here and say, when the corporation says something to you, if it feels like submission, it is submission. If they might tell us, you're off your sign, yes, sir, and then they explain it in a sense where, what am I signing for? Is for you to submit to something that they have in place now. We have titles and we have ownership. We have law, we have common law, natural law that give us power. I'm going to play a tape from Charles and he's going to explain to some of us exactly how important is the law, the common law, and our titles. How did that all come along? And then we can get back into it for a bit. Hold on. <clears throat> all right. True title, the instrument of legal and lawful control over property. Let's talk about it. Here in the U.S. since 1933, all titles have been split into a trust system. Everything that you register to them, they become the grantors and they split the titles. Can you turn the volume up on it? between equitable title and legal title. Hold the on. citizen is issued the legal title, which makes us the trustee in charge of all the taxes, duties, fees, obligations, and liabilities of their property because they hold controlling title to it. Now, when I say true title, I'm is talking about enough? fee simple, absolute, true controlling title. We as sovereign. Is it loud enough or should I go higher? Go up. Go up. Go go up go up a bit. Title. U.S. citizens. All right, hold on, hold on. I think I'm buck to capacity. Uh, when it comes on to bucking, hear me louder now. All right. You are you are the video. You you are right, but the video the video low. All right, hold on. True time. The instrument of legal and lawful control over property. Let's talk about it. Here in the U.S. since 1933, all titles have been split into a trust system. Everything that you register to them, they become the grantors and they split title in two ways. They split it between equitable title and legal title. 
the U.S. citizen is issued the legal title, which makes us the trustee in charge of all the taxes, duties, fees, obligations, and liabilities of their property because they hold controlling title to it. Now, when I say true title, I'm talking about fee simple, absolute, true controlling title. We as sovereigns can hold true title. U.S. citizens cannot hold true title in the public because the public is bankrupt and assets are not held in the public. A true controlling title is an absolute controlling asset ownership instrument over property. When it comes to trust law and dealing with titles, you cannot grant or convey something that you do not have. For instance, if a real estate property is encumbered and in the title it says that the mineral rights are owned by someone else and somebody grants you that title, they didn't have true in fee simple absolute title to grant and convey. You cannot grant or convey something that you do not truly control or own. That's just how things work. Like Federal Reserve notes, we don't hold controlling title over it. You can control what you create and you can create trusts and other things that you can put true controlling title of interest of property into. So whenever somebody hands you something, as long as they had true control and title of ownership over that which they conveyed to you, if you do a grantee acceptance on it, that collapses the previous trust and creates you as the grantor and control the true title over that piece of instrument. Out in the public, it is all about controlling title. Who controls the title to what you are using, what you are doing, or what game or matrix you are playing in? Break it down to its simple fundamentals. If you control that which you are messing with, you're good. If someone else controls it, then you are stuck with the duties, liabilities, or obligations of that trust. To create true title over property, first of all, the property has to be unencumbered. There has to be no liens on it. It has to be free and clear and fee simple absolute. And you can create a document title of ownership over it and describe it, take pictures of it. And then you can put it into an, a security agreement or you can put it into a sovereign trust. And it is basically untouchable. So if you put something like a house into a trust, even if it's a sovereign trust, you do not hold true controlling title over that property. There's still a tax lien on it. The state wasn't even granted true title to it. So they didn't even convey what they controlled because they didn't have it. So there's still underlying duties and obligations to it, even if you put it in a trust. So if you don't pay taxes on it, they can come and take it. If someone does breach or trespass on your controlled property and you didn't put any type of fee or some type of uh, liability for crossing over that claim, then you need to put that in a trust and make sure that it's specified out that there is a value to the property, whatever it is, you can create your own currency. You can claim that, you know, it's silver or gold or whatever, oil, whatever, you know, it's up to you. If you say federal reserve notes now, that's someone else's property. You have to understand how subject matter jurisdiction works, but understand this. If somebody breaches on that claim, enforcement is a whole nother ball game. If somebody um, breaches, like, what he's simple saying is that anything that you don't control, that you don't create, you don't have no control over. Plain and simple. And um, with my case today, this um, living man was taking claim to a piece of land, and he. We always tell our brothers and sisters, it is in the books. If something is vacant and abandoned, we can take it over. But how you take it over? You take it over from a brand new strand. You start creating it all over. And after Davis, as to how much piece of land it is, how long you live on it, you know, and get the necessary people in the community to sign off on it. And once they sign off on it, it's a brand new property. So what Charles is telling us is that you are, any of you are going to, when you're claiming your sovereignty, you have to start from scratch. You can't claim sovereignty on, man, you know, this person give it to me. Nobody can give you sovereignty. You create your own sovereignty. So um, I wanted to play that as far as the trust go because that's our next leg when it comes on to standing for our rights when we are going to even claim properties and even with the car that you're telling you about that are going to the car dealer 
and hopefully the car dealer will allow me to talk to the accountant so I can access my my trust fund. Hollander, Hollander. Uh, any question? What is happening with the chief you spoke about earlier? With the what? The chief. Friends. Oh, yes. He, he's in court for tomorrow, but because the corporation wants him to relinquish his native, um, I wouldn't say relinquish. The state not going to let go none of us. Right? But what we are putting forward to the state that and we have the right to do it, is to notify the state who you are. What my chief has not done, he hasn't sent out no after Davis, he hasn't sent out no notification, he's walking around with the ID telling people say it's sovereign. You walking around telling people that the ID is sovereign, that does one out of eight billion people from planet Earth. You want to go for shock and awe. So notice the principal, is notice the agent. Oh, so you go for the principal at all time. So, for instance, the immigration department. Who runs the immigration department? Anybody know? Homeland Security. So, if homeland, if immigration on any turf hold on to you, and you say, "Hold on, man," on the twenty third of last year, November, I sent something to Homeland Security. Here is my receipt. They have to, that agent have to go to principal and find out from principal were you alerted onto this um, notification? Yes. Did you send back to Nyanka Pong said not no go so? No. So all right, come on, law court. It is as simple as that. So the main, as I said to each one of us, the corporation, all when the policemen are going like him, are the wickedest policemen out there. He make one wrong move on the corporation and string him up like a goat, even faster than me and you. But because we don't contest our estate, you are a dead entity. So when my chief now, last week when he get cold, I said, we rally around and we bail them out. But it's, it, we bail them out physically, but spiritually the corporation did done put on three tire around him already for burn him. And he's back into the predicament. So I, I am telling him that he needs to come and know the recipe because a lot of us are excited about the idea. Some of us not even excited because some of us not even want the ID. But the ID is just the key, as I keep saying. And you have to have a key to go into your estate. Because you will once you get the key, you want to find the house. We're tired just to use the scenario. And today I have to tell him, but although he's not, a, he, to me, he just, some of us, as brothers and sisters, are very spiritually full, full. Yeah, we just feel like, say, the ancestors, them, them can't save you all in time. They might burn you up in a fire. Your ancestors, I'm going to save them. I'm going to save them. And I, I laugh at that because we have to really put in action. Since I start walking, the amount of things that I have to do sometimes, I'm tired, but I know I have to do it. And he, as a high chief, he was like, figure more or less, say, yo, the emperor stayed on my yard and walked on Guzo. I'm like, all right. Yeah. You don't know, some of us just, but with the, the ancestors are spiritually strong. But if them spiritually strong, we physically and spiritually strong. Girl, all they do assist us with some little knowledge sometime and give us some little inclination and, lie and lead us spiritually to go find some answers. But some of us, just have, if we could have met the ancestors do all our work, we would have just sleep all day and met them do it. He, he's learning. And he, he tell me today that practical learning, he, he, he love it. I love the practical learning still. But if I can work smart and not hard, I intend to work smart. I don't intend to work hard because hard work done already. Smart working, clever time now. So I, I advise him he goes to court tomorrow. Go ahead, uh, Professor. Yeah, 
I, I just wanted to say something, okay? This is a simple scenario. If yeah. I go to China, right? And I don't tell, I don't notify the, the Chinese government that this, I have the right to self-identify, um, then what do you think the Chinese government is going to do? They're going to come for you. Or, well, they're going to, they're going to wonder what you're doing here, right? Yep. Okay. So in that case, from what I've heard, this individual <laughs> or this person did not tell the the caretakers because that's this is what all most of these governments are yes they're foreign agents they're anchored at dry dock but they're caretakers they're like uh that's why they're called public servants they're the ones that's supposed to be taking care of the place now if you go to school and you don't identify if you don't i like let them know who you are or what you're doing there then <clears throat> They're going to assume, right, by assumption and presumption that you don't belong there. Do you see what yeah. I'm saying? So it, it's all, 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 it, all that is needed is claim. Who, who now, if he's, if he's basically um, detained and locked up, who is claiming him? The Nyan Kipong. Um, government should be backing that document and saying excuse me um you have one of our people in your in your presence that is backed by this organization that right self identify if you wish to be in full blatant breach of trust right it comes with a 40 year jail sentence I'm sorry, but that's just what it is. It's not your yeah. fault that they decided to put everything in trust. Yep, yep. Um, well, that's what I explained to the chief, that he went to the police station to look for the sergeant, and I tell him that was, that was not his job to do. His job was to write to the St. Martin as far as Minister of Security with the letter and that is where we will drop it off and then now even in the british the her majesty's custom and these illegal um entities are to be advised that not everybody over here is slave because especially in the caribbean they just give us this scenario say you wanna well i want a slave you know a slavery on a commuter and some of our people buy into it that's why when we are Standing up as native now, you will find people in the government who are very educated say, there's no, there's nothing in our books for this. But that is because they are ignorant. You know, and I said to him that I was telling him in you, you need, Sorry, yeah. but you need, you need to use the word belligerent. Belligerent. Thank you. Thank Not you. Thank belligerent. you. Belligerent comes more with, with, um, uh, what do you call it? Certain terminologies that are in their codes. Yes. Right? A breach of trust that's in their codes. Th those are words that come with, like, jail time. Or it comes with, you know, trouble. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? All because, right. Like, um, honestly, they don't even know. They don't, like, I've I've went down to the courthouse Majority of the people have no clue. They're just taught what they were taught in school. Even if yeah. they're a bar association member, it, they have no clue. Most of, these, most of these people who are practicing legally are, are not knowledgeable that they're working for a foreign entity, especially we have to remember all judge, all lawyers, all of these um, administration that is operating in the West, they and that is what they call everything, the West Indies and the West. These are British um, swear holders. They swear to the British Empire. 
but no one is collectively like what we're doing now putting together a group to take on the status quo so tomorrow we advise him that um of certain rights within the court because uh if you don't sign that is not a crime if the corporation give me a document to sign like for instance my son and i don't sign it it is not a crime because that is not a law for me to sign to nobody i am not the property of no one no living man or woman can claim me as a property and he didn't even have an age of maturity yes most of us here have not signed off on that and we need to do it i'm trying to find this um the only the only reason, the only reason why i said that is has anybody read their passport the passport yeah yeah so because um, i <clears throat> i found the document to um to the creation of customs and the agency that deals with passports and um duties and taxes right um, now when you read your passport it says this is protected by like say say i have an old passport that is canadian it says that it's protected by the the queen and her constituents or whatever right yeah you you have maroon documents it is protected by the maroon government protected by the the treaty of the maroons is protected by the the what do you call it uh the surrender of the british to the maroons do you see what i'm saying yes so what they have what what they're dealing with now is detaining detaining someone who is of a status that you surrendered to yep do you see what i mean so what what is the what would be the time any any time anyone is detained your time is the most valuable what i are uh, 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 hold on hold on because that's that's for a different subject because we do have i don't know in the package we also inform you about your rate sheet now without your dot this right here you can't have a rate sheet you can have a rate sheet but this ties into the, the, the legitimacy of the rate sheet as it says here on my 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 plate which be my dot number it says notice of fee schedule once you stop me you are get, you agree to pay ten thousand dollars a minute if i'm detained delayed from non-emergency traffic stop only when the traffic stop is up an ambulance a pass me can pull over here yeah. but i i am not under the jurisdiction right now I'm a national. I'm operating as a national, not of the United States of America, but of the Republic, United States Republic. So there's a lot of things that we have to work out too. But one of the main thing is to inform the principle where um, we are going. And talking about informing, I have put forward some um, drafts that will be going out where these are notification when it comes on to the corporation here in the united states of america i'll be sending out to the governors but you know the governors are very 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 powerful uh we also the attorney general the irs the state controller our county and the state clerk of courts so those are some of the principles that and the president can't forget the president but to always send to the president office that means uh, if a governor say i have nothing on record here for you 
All right, check the president record then. Because we have to be on the path for when they come. We don't have any hiccups. All right, I played this one about taxes because a lot of people ask about taxes and say, Raskadites, true, we have to pay tax. I believe we must pay tax. And I said, that is, there's no must to it. You know, I'm going to tell you why you don't have to pay taxes. Tax evasion is illegal, but tax avoidance is law. Let's talk about it. All right, taxes. The tax system has always been here from the very beginning of the U.S. by the king's agreement to continue to tax the people that still wanted to owe allegiance to him. We, the humans, are not actually taxed. Corporations are. And you're not taxed on what corporation you represent. You are taxed on how you do business. And it is as simple as that. However, we purposely aren't taught the true basics of how anything works. All bankrupt countries are companies that operate basically in the same way. Anything you register to them, they control. And we become the trustees in charge of all the debts, duties, obligations, and liabilities that incur. A citizen is analogous to a subject. And here in the U.S., it is classified by the IRS as an individual trust. A citizen is a trust corporation with a TIN that is controlled by the corporate state that you register it in. We're purposely not taught how corporations operate or what subject matter jurisdiction is by the people that control our education system. The creators of the U.S. citizen have placed four liens on it. There's a federal lien, a state lien, a medical lien, and a social security lien. And how it's all set up is where people that control the Federal Reserve System have made certain rules and regulations if you're going to be engaged in that type of system. I know it's hard to wrap your head around, but the fact is the IRS is an honorable, neutral, third-party accounting system established by the creditors of the U.S. But the IRS knows that for-profit is an insidious system where people operate very greedily and try to hide massive amounts of money. Most corporations are controlled by D.C., which is a federal zone, and any corporation registered to do business in a federal zone for-profit typically has a tax liability. Now, there are many ways to operate outside of the federal zip coded zones and federal jurisdiction, not for profit in order to have no tax liability. A not for profit corporation is a much more honorable system because it, it typically has people running a corporation that don't care about the bottom dollar and corporate greed as a motivation. And that's why there's little tax placed upon them. Even a federally registered not for profit CEO can make millions of dollars. If your citizen is going to be engaged as an employee in a for-profit system in a federal zone, there is a tax liability because you are supporting that insidious type of system that is established for greed. You typically have to have a corporation to interface with the public that receives funds, and you can create your own corporation that is outside of all U.S. jurisdictions and engage in all kinds of commercial affairs, and there's no tax liability. You can also receive money under the table. You can get gifts, donations, barter, trade, exchange, and borrow without any tax liability. Stop listening to random people like me on TikTok. Do your own research on the rules of the game that you're going to be playing in. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Did you hear what he said a while ago? Corporation yeah. does not try to corporation. Corporation doesn't what? Cannot tax a corporation. Yes. So when you're starting your business, your corporation, he's telling you that there's a lot of um, write-off that your business can do. Like, for instance, taxes wasn't something where you would get up and pay, but a lot of people don't interact with the IRS to inform the IRS what sort of estate you are running. Now you have non-profit estates where, you know, say, you, as him says, not the bottom dollar you're offer. You're, you're more into offering services. So, as he said, you know, um, most of the registration that people do know, they don't register as indigenous registration. They register as commercial registration. So the commercialization of your business is why the government tax you because they're thinking that you're making a bag of money and you're not giving back nothing to the community. Not no go so.
You create a business that is a quote unquote, is not a profit you make it for, but you make it for a community. Like for instance, I always tell people, <coughs> my radio station is a community radio station. Everything that I do through my radio station, it enhance the community. I give back to the community. The community don't sponsor me. They support. The wording is so crucial. Once you are using certain terminology, you are going to be um, in hot water. Now, because of us being native global government, there's a lot of things that our brothers and sisters need that the global community does not provide. And because we have a new inch, we can create these pattern and pattern them under our Nyanka Punk and not the corporation. All right? So we, and there's so many, you have spiritual pattern, physical pattern, because anything you create physically is yours. Anything you created virtually, AKA spiritually is yours. And as you heard before in the first video, anything we create, I feel one. No man or woman or corporation can come tell us, eh? um, give me this. Give me this so tight. No, 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 no. My bake a pudding and everything in the pudding is not made by man. It's an ingredient from the earth. I'm going to sell the pudding and get sponsors. Somebody sponsor three slices of the pudding on my own. You know? So I wanted to just share some of those gems. Uh, Professor, you want to say something? Nah, you're, you're mute. You're mute. I was just saying that you said perfect. Yeah. I feel you're sitting. So nobody knows if you can come. So if, if remember, prof <laughs> Go ahead. Also remember, if you created anything, and you bring it to the patent office, the yep. patent office is the one that brings it to market. You're getting a patent to bring it to market. You're not getting a patent for you to own it. Yep. That, yep. You, that don't, you don't own my creation. You can, patent, you can patent land. You can patent ideas. You can patent a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the greatness about it is, we have our own patent right here in Nyanka Pong. So that's why we say we notify these corporations. You know, may I notify them so we have our own coconut oil that come out. We're not, we're not asking for permission. We are notify and tell about our new coconut oil that is more healthier than the, shit, the oils that you have in your supermarket selling. And when we notify you, yeah, we go and put it on our shelf where our people can buy it. And this is how we're creating our own community because we have more than enough people. When we signed up and become a collective, we can spend our money in our own essence. I'm living for the day. Oh, the brick uh, is out now. Yeah. And in case you don't hear, they have put a sanction on the United States and Israel. This is the first in history this is happening where the manipulation by the so-called superpower is falling apart. And if what we're learning now, if we can have um, China, India, and all these other brothers and sisters come together to create a currency, then what's stopping us, the Maroons, from creating a currency? And that's why when we created the Lumi, it was created out of the essence. So yes, we're going to start trade with each other, but we're still working out the kinks because we know that we are on a... This is a key. Controlling our own currency is going to be so vital. The native currency must be restored where it do not have a corporation guillotine swinging over it. 
our ancestors used the barter system where granny have a bunch of banana you have a eight pound of yellow yam we swap the yellow yam for banana and everybody got their full deserve because guess what it wasn't based on the paper but where we we have to reach back that stage where we get back into our full independence i wanted to just put that in professor um i, I wanted to say that uh let's just say israel was created they say by the rothschilds right or no uh yes lord rothschild was the one that wrote a letter to create the is israeli um homeland now nobody realized the palestinian at the moment it to us it seems like oh they're getting murdered and all that kind of stuff but when it you really look into it it is a it is a securities war the israelis are the trustees the palestinians are the or or no the israelis are pretending to be the beneficiaries and making the 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 palestinians the trustees making them pay for it so to speak the israeli or the palestinians actually have a chance to stop this war in a second reason being is that uniform commercial code number one which is the financial statement each palestinian could actually put a lien on the corporation known as israel which is registered in new york city if you register your country in a country that basically has rules and regulations you have to know the rules and the terms and conditions of those regulations in order for you to combat the actions that is being um, upon you. Every single trustee, the which are the Israelis, are belligerent, which is starting a war. Belligerency means they're starting a war with their beneficiaries, committing basically committing securities fraud and that Man. can be all fraud. but remember when you're in the moment having bombs dropped all over your head you're not really thinking oh man this is a securities fraud <laughs> you know what i mean when yeah. when you when you really go deep into it all these countries are bankrupt or i should say the new word insolvent jamaica went insolvent in 2014 that's why everything I, had to I, change I, I want to say something important the reason why israel plays such a very vital role at this point is because we are under religious terrorism and that place that they're calling israel is the heart of where the catholic church allowed the terrorism to grow because the two religions are the same, but at the same time, the Catholic is the one who is ordering it. I don't want to go into too much, but Nana Ma, um, Chanel, uh, of course, our Secretary of State, she's here, Grand Rising. I see you put in some um, very vital information inside the classroom. Nana, welcome. How are you doing, Secretary? Well, <clears throat> I'm good, thank you. And um, I was on the YouTube and I yeah. decided to just jump over to the stream yard yeah. and just, you know, put this in the chat. So what I'm saying is like we, we need to copyright our names. If it's something that we haven't done yet, we all need to be doing that. So when Officer Dibbles pull you over and put your name on that ticket, you can charge him for using your artwork, which is your name. And um, copyright.com. It's there. Copyrightdepot.com. Copyrightdepot.com. And I think it costs less than $50 to copyright in here. It costs less than $20. $17.75. How much? How much? $17.75. Go <laughs> copyright. Go look about an estate. Yes. And as you heard, when the Crown agents 
um, take advantage of your estate, you can charge them. Yeah, I love that. Uh, Madam Secretary is saying that our name is our artwork and official officer nibble should be charged for using it. I was explaining, um, Secretary, that uh, we have a situation over there in St. Martin's and because of the language um, jurisdiction, that's another challenge. But the reason why our chief is going through some of these challenges because he did not notify principal. It's very important to notify principal so the agents can can be um, charged or, or, or put to rest when they were arresting us. Well, very in, important because he's sitting on his credence letter and and, and just just is like it might as well put it in the trash if he's not going to use it. Yeah. yeah. Not, remember, uh, remember, remember, all these countries have treaties. They've had treaties for longer than what's been going on. Yeah. Since since fifteen nineteen, or yeah, or since fifteen eighteen. They as we go treaties. along, as we go along on this this journey, we are finding out that it's one bigness, you know, and um, everything is tied into it. The religious belief complement the financial and educational um cornerstone that these corporations stand on so when we are being attacked sometime it is like for instance with through our birth people through the court system it is because they know that the court system is tied into the the religious system and the religious system is tied into the educational system that's so they, they make sure have things that they can stand on, as I said, where you challenge them in the judicial court and it ends up inside the religious realms because they know that it's a whole facade. It's a lie compared to what they do. But the most important thing is when we start to challenge these lies, that's when we see it unravel. Yes, but if but if we accept these lies, they will perpetrate them more and more because once they start lying, they don't stop, and that's why the goalposts keep moving. Because they would do. What was that? It's called acquiescence. Acquiescence. You acquiesce. You basically volunteer. That's yeah. why if you look at any ticket, any charge, it says voluntary payment. You volunteered. Your mother and father volunteered the birth certificate. They, 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 what do you call it? You volunteered to register. You volunteered to do. You volunteered not to go beyond your educational um, abilities. You volunteered. You, it's it's your acquiescence. You know. Wow, people, we're almost thirty-eight minutes over. I mean to ask, um, who is Wayne? I don't know who is Wayne in the classroom. Is Wayne? Can you identify yourself, my brother? I don't know who is Wayne. The new governor, governor general new from Panama. Ah, uh, um, hi, Chief Gary. And um, give you the link. Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Need to need to lay it down with you. I don't know. I, same I never same one. Same one that log in all the times was Nessie Dan. Nessie Dan. Okay. I thought you yeah. did it. Yes, but everything all right, everybody have any question? Anyone have any question before we sign off? Yes, Nessie. Um, can you put anyway. can you put the copyright um in the back chat again or put it in the chat on the WhatsApp? Because I've what, looked up the trade, I've looked up the trademark. Which one is that? Your copyright um, depot.com? It was in the chat, but I got kicked out. And uh, what do you call it? Came back. And it was gone. Okay, let me... Uh, I, I'm putting it in the classroom. And I'm going to put it back in the chat. Right? So, we can... You can also, um, not... also check out Trademark. Okay. I was trying to say that tomorrow 
I wanted to go through the DOT secretary with um, the students. Because some of them haven't got their EIN yet and their DOT. So tomorrow we will do a live training online where we can just walk through the necessary. We won't exchange information over the year, but we'll at, at the point where you reach us to the questions, we will walk you through it. Is that okay? Okay, um, that's tomorrow at seven. <laughs> yes, tomorrow at seven. Okay, and um, another concern that I had is if if you do not have a social security number, yes, you cannot do the EIN. But there's a way to go around that. You can apply for an ITIN, and you can use that as to to do the the EIN to get a trust, to get the, the, you know, trustee trust so that you can apply for the DOT. And there's, you cannot do the ITIN online. It has okay. to be either by mail or in person. You fill out a W-7 and you have to mail it in. Or there are different places in other countries where you can also do that. Jamaica is one of the countries listed. They have two agents, one um, in Mandeville and one in Kingston, where you can apply for your ITIN, even if you're even if you're not here in America, or if you know someone there that can do it for you. That's if you do not have a social security number. You know, you know what I suggest for tomorrow. I'll make the sacrifice. Because the class is supposed to finish within an hour. And I think we can stay in the background where it is safe and secure, where we're not on the World Wide Web, and we can work out the differences with these um, EIN and DOT. So nobody on the outside will be access to the classroom. It will be just us when class is finished, and we work out some of that. I, that's how I think we'll work the last time, and we got a lot of things done. So... Let, let's do that that because i can't move forward with the, the 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 other second course that we want to do without we reach all of us on the same platform this is our second week i would hope that by now on the third week all of us then are one bunch where we are moved so i want crystal to get our thing on um abina Ab, Ab, uh what's her name again abina oh, abina and earl and Nigel to come up to par. Wayne, we have to go work with Wayne because Wayne, give me a call tomorrow so we can bring you up to Scott because I don't think you'll get the necessary um, thing for complete your paperwork yet. Okay. And, um, yeah. No, yeah. Me, me do the EIN already and on the DOT. I lie. Yeah. Get, yeah. But yeah. also, yeah. the Nana, do you want to... Like, the, the, the notifications and all of that. The, yeah. The, you don't get your license. Mama, you don't get your yeah, ma, no, 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 no. You get one in KSA. You have to do it before you go to Jamaica. Yeah. So make yeah, sure to take your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, um, no, no. Daniel got his DOT on Wednesday, but right before he went to Jamaica Thursday. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I got I got my um thing today, no, no, So. Okay. Yeah. yeah so well, everything uh, is all right on it? Yes, it, it looks all right. I carried it to the deal over the weekend, so oh, the okay. dealer can drop his two of them. So, we like um, the dongs, that's what you call it. Yeah, Is it, yeah, I have to get that tomorrow. I'll put when it I go in, the, in, the, in the, the class, um, Saturday, what's up? Okay, it's in, all to right, call the, to call, it's, it's best to call the telephone number to get it. Tomorrow you can get that. it online, but it's a lot of hassle. All right. I'll do that tomorrow so we can move forward. Is there any question? If not, I'm going to switch from our mainstream for our brothers and sisters on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us. Join, um, send a link to me, and I'll get you in. But, you know, this is where we call it a night until tomorrow. So we shall be living man and woman 
We shall have it. We shall have it. We shall have it.